1970. That was right after I did Kelly's Heroes in Yugoslavia with a whole group of people, Clint Eastwood, et cetera, and, uh, and the Mary Tyler. Then I came home from that, and I was rehearsing uh, Carousel. I was doing Jigger and Carousel. And uh, my agent said, uh, they're interested in seeing you for the Mary Tyler Moore show. I said, oh, I love her, you know. Gee, we worked together, almost worked together a second time on Dick's show. And she and Grant used to come to see my shows. Whenever I did plays, they would always be in the audience. They sent me two scripts, uh, the pilot and wrote his mother. And they wanted to see me for Lou Grant. And uh, what a great part. But I wouldn't believe myself being her boss. I was on a diet, I was losing weight, I was doing carousel. I was thinking young and moving young. I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy myself being Mary's boss, but I like this part. Not the biggest part, but I like this guy in Murray Slaughter. So I go in for the day for the interview, and there's Ethel Winant, fabulous human being, and Alan Burns and Jim Brooks. Now, who are these people? Oh, Alan Burns uh, is the co-creator, and Jim Brooks is the co-creator of the Mary Tyler Moore Show. Previous to this, they did uh, Room 222 and My Mother the Car. And Grant, Grant Tinker, one of the greatest guys you ever want to meet, brought them together to do the pilot for the Mary Tyler Moore show and create the show. And uh, they were the ones we met. And uh, Alan knew some people on Kelly and Ciro, so we rapped about that. What have you been doing? And I said, I just got back. I'm rehearsing the show. And da 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 and so we started reading the, uh, Lou Grant's, and I was getting laughs. I felt great, you know, Ethel and I. But I said, I wonder if I should really, this is a good thing for actors to know, too, to follow your heart. So uh, I said, well, I'll see you guys. I've got to go rehearsal. So I put my hand on the door. I said, can I tell you the truth? I said, I really like this character, Murray. I said, you do? I said, yeah. I said, I really have a I don't know if there's something about it. I think I can do something with him. I didn't say that they wouldn't believe me. It's, I didn't go into that. And so he said, well, why don't you read a few lines, Jim? I said, OK. So I said, reading some of the lines from there. And they were laughing, laughing, laughing. And so I said, well, got to get the rehearsal. So, 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 so. I go out, and then I see Ed Asner outside, pacing back and forth, Ed's famous pace. So I go to rehearsal, and that afternoon, about 4, 4.15, my agent came over. He called me out and he said, they want you to do the Mary Tyler Moore pilot. I said, what part? He said, I don't know. I think it's a guy named Murray. I said, ah, good. I got what I wanted. Wow. And then they had everybody except uh, Ted Baxter. And then I hadn't seen Ted in maybe six months or something, because we were old friends since 1957. And it was announced that Ted Knight was playing Ted Baxter. I said, that's all they wrote. I said, this is going to be terrific. And so that was the beginning of it, and that's how I got it. And then, uh, you know, it's one of the classic television shows of all time. 